To no one's surprise, we are drawing more flowers. If you're new to illustration, floral doodles are a great way to practice and learn, so let's get started. Welcome back, friends. My name is Shada Campbell, and on this channel, we get creative together. No matter your skill level, you can learn to draw. So today I am drawing with pen and pencil. We're gonna do flowers. I am working in this colored pencil sketchbook from Strathmore. I actually love the paper for pen, for fine liner. It's really toothy. Um, and then I have a mechanical pencil and a good eraser. You can use whatever pencil you like. And then I have a couple of fine liners, which are just good, precise artist pens. And they come in different sizes. And that little number right there refers to the nib size. So I have kind of a larger one and a smaller one. You'll see why in a sec. And uh, what I'm gonna start by doing here, what we're gonna do is create a grid. So just do a three by three grid and create nine squares on the page. Then we're ready to draw our flowers. Here's how we're gonna to approach today's beginner floral practice. We're going to make up a flower, just completely made up out of our head, and then the next doodle will base on life. So this is a made up one, uh, which are really fun to draw. You can do a stem or two stems. You can make the leaves pointed or rounded. For these particular guys, uh, for the flowers, I do a really shallow petal at the front, little circular stamen, and then three more petals. Um, and let's go over it in pen, because I know I'm moving kind of quick. So I'm taking my larger fine liner, the 04 nib, and we're going to do our contour drawing, which is just a basic line drawing. Shallow petal in the front, uh, circular stamen, three more petals in behind, and then I have these curving stems with lots of small pointed oval shaped leaves. And I've just completely made this up. It's just a really simple little doodle. I'll get rid of all my pencil lines, see if I need any more leaves in there, and that's it for my first quick doodle. Our next doodle, of course, is based on a real flower, and I'm using the pansy. So a circle right at the center, one large petal, and then one tucked in on each side on the left and the right and two more in behind. And you can kind of reshape them to get the flower the size that you like. Little shading near the center. We'll do these messy leaves and let's go over it in pen. Um, circle at the center. You've got a large petal on the bottom and then one tucked on each side with two more in behind. I do a curving line for each branch and then for these shaggy leaves, I just follow the curving line that I drew at the center. Now here we can add some of those shading lines, but you might want to switch to the smaller nib fine liner uh, for a more precise, thinner line. And I'm just adding shading near the center as well as a few lines on the large petals to show texture. If you're just starting with floral illustration, you might benefit from a worksheet and I have one to go along with this video. I give weekly bonus content on my Patreon page. It's a great way to support the channel. Starts at $2 a month and you can get access to many worksheets, coloring pages and extra videos. Okay, next up is another made up flower. So I started with a stem and then I just decided to do these curving branches and put like lots and lots of little leaves on them. So I'm just doing rows of tiny branches with tiny leaves. Just what it's what came to mind. <laughs> then I kind of do a scribbly area for the stamen and some large thin petals. So it can be that simple when you're making stuff up out of your head, just have fun with the shapes. Our next doodle is based on a gladiola. So I start with two lines for the stems. Then I do these little tiny ovals at the top for buds. And everywhere I wanna place a blossom, I'll do a large oval or circle some tiny curving lines to show the center of the flower, a few leaves. Um, and let's just go over it in pen so you can really see. So I'm going to actually make those circles, those blossoms a little bit more realistic by kind of wiggling my pen as I go around the perimeter. I'm coloring the leaves and stems in a little bit darker to show what is flower and what is leaf or branch. And these curving lines at the center kind of show the trumpet shape of those gladiola blossoms. But overall, I kept it really simple. You can switch to a smaller nib fine liner and add a few small lines at the center of the flower to again, help with that concave or trumpet-like look. Get rid of all those pencil lines. And then if you need a little more shading, go ahead and add it. 
All right, let's make up another flower, shall we? So this one, I start with three ovals or circles, and those are just there to help me get the shape right. You'll see what I mean. I'm going around them, but I'm leaving the top open for this sort of bell jar look, or I don't know what shape that is. But those are my flowers. We'll put some stems to join them all together. Again, with the leaves, they could be big leaves. They could be small. We could do really thin or wide. I'm just playing around, trying to make some fun floral shapes. I even put some little lines up top there uh, for these funny little stamens. And then going over it with my 04 nib fine liner. These are the Meloto black liners that I'm using. And uh, just doing a nice contour drawing. I am using the larger fine liner to put those lines on the flowers as well as to draw in the stamens, which are just little lines and dots. And uh, that's about it. <laughs> Okay, our next doodle is based on the daisy. This requires a guide as well. Start with an oval. That'll be the shape and size of the overall flower. Then place another oval low in that oval. <laughs> that will be where the center is. Then we'll sketch lines to help us with the shape and direction of each petal. And for the leaves, I'm doing similar to the pansy where I draw the center line first and then just go around it and give that shaggy edge. Now let's use those lines as our guide and we'll start putting in some petals. Because we have a guide, we know how long the petals should be and we're, we're able to kind of shape them at this point. And you can see I'm doing some very perfectly imperfect petals here. They're not, you know, perfect ovals. They're a little jagged on the ends. Some stick out a little farther. I'm layering some. There's weird gaps in some areas. We don't want it to look too perfect, basically. Then I'll come in with my fine liner and start the contour drawing. And those petals at the front of the stamen actually have a bit of a curve at the top to show that they are curving up in front of the center of the flower, in front of the stamen. And uh, the other ones, of course, at the uh, back are kind of sitting in behind it. And again, just wiggling the pen a little bit. I don't want anything to look too smooth or perfect or cartoon-like and um, layering lots of petals, leaving some gaps. I'll go around the leaves, do my stem, maybe add some dotting on the stamen just to, you know, give a nice contrast. And then I'll take my smaller fine liner, this is the O2 nib, and I'm just adding some lines on those petals. By placing those shading lines near the center of the flower, we show that it is concave and deeper towards its center, and we show the texture of the petals. Okay, another made up flower. This one's fun. I'm going to start with a guide. A line with an X through it is my guide for this five petal flower. So a line, draw an X through it, then ignore that bottom line and you're doing a five petal blossom. Join those with some stems, add a leaf, whatever you like, and we'll go around it with our fine liner. At this point, I might add, you know, a little more wiggle and flair to those petals. Um, but yeah, it's a really simple. This is almost lily-like and um, for the stamen we'll keep in that lily sort of style and we'll do a stamen with um, dots and lines, maybe even a little curve to show the concave nature of the flower. But keep it simple. These are doodles and a little bit of line shading goes a long way to add some contrast. Okay, our last flower that is based on a real flower is going to be an apple blossom. So I start with two circles for my flowers. That way I know how big they're going to be. The center is just a lot of tiny dots and then I'm doing five messy petals. And then I'm going to join them with a, a stem. Well, it's more of a branch. There are some heart-shaped buds and lots of leaves. So add as many heart-shaped buds and large leaves as you like, but keep that stamen very delicate. Just lots and lots of little dots and the petals again wiggle the pen so they don't look too smooth and cartoon-like. You want them perfectly imperfect. You want them a little wrong. <laughs> and then for the branch, I definitely thicken that line a little bit, make it a little bit, um, you know, not too straight, make it a little broken even, and uh, just going around everything to complete our contour drawing. Once we've gotten rid of the pencil marks, I like to add some shading lines near the center of the flower maybe a few more on the leaves, and that is the apple blossom.
Okay, last doodle. This is made up, just something out of our mind. And I wanna keep it simple because I don't wanna mess up our grid at this point. <laughs> so I've started with three kind of lines for stems and then the flower is just a bu bunch of clustered circles, basically. I'm going to join everything with one branch and add two large leaves. So a flower really could be any shape, you know, a cluster of circles. It does look like a pretty floral stem that would be part of a larger arrangement maybe. And by by practicing these doodles, you can give yourself lots of ideas for larger pieces that you might complete later. So this is a great sketchbook piece to have as reference. Uh, when I erased that last one, I got rid of all my pencil lines, so my grid is gone now. I'll add a little more shading to this one, you know, just a little bit of line shading on the leaves. And then anywhere else on the piece that I think might benefit from, you know, an extra few lines or something gives a nice contrast, as I've said. But that is all done. We've completed nine floral doodles together. Flowers like the pansy, the glad, and the apple blossom, those are all based on real flowers. And then the others are based on life, but they're just taken out of our own imagination. And you can play and have fun with the shapes, the line shading. The lily is kind of halfway in between, um, but I wanted to do this exercise together to show you there's no one way to approach drawing flowers, whether you're drawing from life or from your own imagination. For more floral drawing tutorials, head over to my channel homepage, link is in the bio, and patrons head to Patreon to get the worksheet.